Hi everyone, welcome back to Maths Diary. Today we are discussing about our third chapter in 8th standard polygons. In this video we are just explaining various methods of computing the sum of angles of a polygon and we are just dealing some problems uh, using this formula. Our first topic is shapes. We already know about geometrical shapes. First of all, we are just recalling that geometrical shapes. Look here. These are some types of polygon. A three-sided geometrical shape, we are just called it as triangle. And four-sided shape, called it as quadrilateral. And five-sided is pentagon. And six-sided hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, etc. like that. We already know that uh, the geometrical shape with three or more sides are generally called polygons. Now we are discussing about sum of interior angles of a polygon. In our 7th standard, we already learned that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Using this, we are just uh, trying to find the sum of interior angles of other polygons. How can we find the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral? We already know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Using this, we can find the sum of angles in a quadrilateral. Just Let's check. Here, we are just dividing the quadrilateral into two triangles. And we already know that the sum of interior angle of a triangle is 180 degree. Then the sum of two triangles is 360 degree. Then the sum of angles in a uh, quadrilateral or rectangle is 360 degree. We are just finding the sum of interior angles of a pentagon in the same manner. First of all, we are just dividing the uh, pentagon into three triangles then we are just adding the interior angles of three triangle that is 180 into 3 that is 540 degree also look this picture this is a hexagon and we are just dividing this hexagon into four triangles then we can get the sum of interior angles of a hexagon is 4 into 180 degree that is 720 degree Look at the table. We are just discussing the sum of interior angles of a polygon. And we are using the uh, sum of interior angles of a triangle. We can get the sum of interior angles of any polygon. I will give you one question that. What is the sum of angles in an 102 sided polygon? Is it possible to draw a 102 sided polygon and divide that polygon into triangles and sum the interior angles of that triangle? Is it possible? So we want to find a formula for finding the sum of interior angles. Look at the table. Uh, in the table, the first polygon is triangle. Triangle having three sides and we can uh, divide that triangle into one tri only one triangle. Then the in sum of interior angles is 1 into 180 degree. Then what about the quadrilateral? Quadrilateral have four sides and also the number of triangles we can get is 2. And we can find the sum of interior angles by 2 into 180 degree. What about a pentagon? Pentagon have five sides and we can uh, draw three triangles using one word from one vertex. Then the interior angle, sum of interior angles is 3 into 180 degree. Then what about hexagon? Hexagon having six sides. We can get four triangles. Then the uh, sum of interior angles is 4 into 180 degree. Heptagon have seven sides and we can make triangles from one vertex is 5. There is a relation that we are just subtracting 2 from the number of sides. Then we will get the number of triangles from one vertex. So we can say that from a 10 sided polygon we can get we can make uh, 8 triangles and from an n sided polygon we can make n minus 2 triangles so the sum of interior angles of n sided polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree. So we can make the formula as the sum of interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree where n is the number of sides of that polygon. Now let's check the answer of this question. 
here the number of sides is 102 we already know the equation as sum equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree here the here n equal to 102 that is n minus 2 means 102 minus 2 into 180 degree that is 100 into 180 degree that is 18,000 degree now let's check some problems using this formula our first question is find the sum of angles of a polygon with 52 sides uh, we can get the solution by here we know that the number of sides is that is n equal to 52 and we already know that the equation as sum of angles equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree that is 52 minus 2 into 180 degree that is 50 into 180 degree that is 9000 degree the question like this uh, the sum of angles of a polygon is 8100 degree find the number of its sides here we don't know that what is the number of sides that we are just take it as n and we already know that the sum of angles is 8100 then we have the formula that n minus 2 into 180 equal to 8100 then we can get n minus 2 equal to 8100 divided by 180 then we can get it as 45 so n minus 2 is 45 so n equal to 47 so the polygon having 47 sides can 1600 be the sum of angles of a polygon can 900 be the sum from the formula of uh, the sum we know that n minus 2 into 180 degree is the formula so we can make a conclusion that the in every time the sum of interior angles is a multiple of 180 degree for finding the answer of this question uh, we have to check whether 1600 is a multiple of 180 or not uh, by checking this 1600 is not a multiple of 180 so it cannot be the sum of angles and what about 900 is it a multiple of 180 yes it is a multiple of 180 so we can conclude that uh, 900 can be the sum of angles of a polygon here the question is all the angles of a polygon with 20 sides are equal find the measure of each angle for finding this answer uh, first of all we want to find the sum of interior angles of a 20 sided polygon we can it get it by the uh, formula n minus 2 into 180 degree that is 20 minus 2 into 180 degree that is 3240 so here we know that the angles are same and here that is a 20 sided polygon so it have 20 angle so measurement of each angle is 3240 divided by 20 that is 162 degree each our fifth question is the sum of angles in a polygon is 1980 find the sum of angles of the polygon with one side more and find the sum of sum with one side is less we can find the answer of this question by uh, we by that formula when one side of a polygon increased the sum of angles increased by 180 degree and like that when the when the number of sides decreased by one then the sum of angles also decreased by 180 degree just using this relation we can find the answer thanks for watching this video